On August the 6th, 1915, the last crucial attack was planned. The Germans knew that the Russians didn't have gas masks and decided to use a mixture of poison gases, chlorine and bromine. Germans had been waiting for favorable wind for more than 10 days and on the 6th of August conducted a gas attack. In accordance with the attack plan, after the use of chemical warfare, army troops had to join the battle in order to occupy deserted Russian positions. Найдите мокрые повязки, братцы. Два слоя на мат. Плотнее делать. After the gas attack, German battalions moved on, a call to occupy burnt positions. But when German troops approached Russian trenches, the survived defenders from the 8th and the 13th companies, little more than 100 people, launched bayonet attacks against them. Barely able to walk, they joined the battle, which seemed to have been lost. They looked horrible. Bearing traces of chemical burns on their faces, wrapped up in rags, they coughed up blood, spitting out pieces of lungs on bloody blouses. The unexpectedness of the attack and the enemy's appearance shocked Germans so much that they panicked. Three regiments flocked back. In this dead men attack, Russians lost its commander, Sub-Lieutenant Kotlinski, but the fortress didn't surrender. In September 1914, Soviets got an order to hold on for two to three weeks. The fortress held on for almost a year. However, soon, Soviets was abandoned. The Germans threatened to encircle the fortress with the capture of two villages on the left and right flanges of Soviets. In order not to be surrounded, the Russians demolished much of the fortress and withdrew on the 18th of August 1915.